I'm back. It's been a while. I would like to apologise for the very strange filming schedule. As you may or may not know, if you follow my channel, I did like a week of vlogs because it was my last ever week at university. So I thought, hey, I'll vlog it. So I did that. So I did seven daily vlogs. And if you haven't seen them, you can go to my channel and check them out. And I had loads of unpacking to do. So I've been fairly busy and a bit all over the place. So I haven't actually done any filming for a while. So this is fun. I'm back. I'm in my room. I have everything set up now, which is nice. I've got lovely shelves. Can you see these shelves? La la. My dad built these shelves very impressed with him but they're lovely I have shelves I have a place to put all my makeup and stuff and I am gonna do like a room tour as well once everything is finalized and done because there are like little bits I want to tweak so yeah that's basically what I've been doing I've been very busy so I apologize for the odd uploading schedule of videos but I'm having a filming day today so everything will be done today but today is favourites day. It is monthly favourites day. May? Have we just finished May? Yes. May has come to a close. So I'm going to do my May favourites. Do you ever have that thing where your ear gets blocked and you can hear yourself? That's kind of what I'm having right now. Ah. Before I get going though, I would just like to announce the winner of my giveaway because a few people were asking me on Twitter and because I've been so blah, I've not been able to do it. So um, Miranda Kenny won my 1000 subscriber giveaway. So yay! to you. Um, you've already had your prize, you already tweeted me saying that you love everything so that's lovely. Um, but yes, thank you very much for everyone who did participate in the giveaway. I'm sorry you couldn't all win because I'm not that rich but Miranda won the lovely giveaway so that is the end of my 1000 subs giveaway. It went quite quickly because I think it's been a month because I started it on my last favourites. So it's been a while, but congratulations to her, and I hope you enjoy everything that you have received from me. So, yeah, on to the favourites. Going to start with skincare. This is something I've already shown you in my hair care haul. Actually, the first two things I've already shown you in my hair care haul. But this is the Burt's Bees Sensitive Facial Cleanser. This has cotton extract, and it is amazing. I was looking for something to replace my cleanse and polish. And if you're looking for a cheaper version, I think this is under £10. Um, this is amazing. It's very, very good for sensitive skin. It's like nice and light. Well, not light, but like nice and soothing and just really creamy and lovely. And it lasts for pretty much the same amount of time as a cleanse and polish would. So about a month, just over a month. Actually, this might be longer than that. Well, I'm coming to the end of it, so it's probably like a month or so. But I really, really love this. So if you have sensitive skin, you kind of find it hard to find cleansers that don't react with your skin. This is really good. I did a review of it over on my blog um, a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago. I can't remember now. Um, but everybody said how much they would really want to try this. Honestly, it's really, really good. And I'm quite surprised because I never tried any Burt's Bees skincare before. And quite a few people said they didn't even know that Burt's Bees did skincare, which I didn't really know either. But they do. And they're pretty good at it. So I love, love this. Really nice facial cleanser. And then the other thing I showed you in my haul was the Bedhead Totally Baked Volumizing and Prepping Hair Meringue. This stuff, I said it in the haul because I think I'd used it once in the haul. It is amazing. If you have very, very fine hair or you find it hard to get volume in your hair, you need to grab this because it's so unbelievably cool. And you just need like maybe one pump of this to do you. And it'll last for ages because that's like no product at all. And this is like really heavy, it's so full. I've used it millions of times now. It smells like lemon meringue, which is nice. It's like a nice sweet lemony smell. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. I don't have a fault to say about this. I think the only problem I would say, if I had to pick one, would be you can use too much and then it weighs your hair down. But that's just experimentation to see how much of this you can put in. So I really love this, gives me amazing volume. You just smoosh it all in, smoosh it all in, is that the correct kind of word or terminology to use? But you smoosh it all in to your wet hair and then you blow dry it. It's better with a diffuser actually, now I come to think about it, it is a lot better if you use a diffuser. Um, but either way, gives you rather tasty volume. Yeah, tasty. It's a strange word to use to describe it, but it is meringue so now two makeup products that I have to say I shouldn't really have bought 
because I can't really afford it but I kind of caved because I've sort of been umming and ahhing about getting them for a while and the first one is the Naked Basics palette and I have to say I'm pretty glad I got it. I was kind of like do I need another neutral palette because I have a few and like there's only so many neutrals you can really wear but this really is just so so good and it's amazing if you're travelling which I have been doing quite a lot of but it has all the colours you would ever need ever. For me I like my neutrals so this has been amazing and in fact it's small enough to keep in my tiny little pencil bag makeup case as well fits in wonderfully so I'm really really liking this of course all the Urban Decay eyeshadows are amazingly pigmented and I have the Naked 1 and the Naked 2 I haven't got the Naked 3 yet because I'm still on the fence about the Naked 3 but I'll probably do what I did with this and cave in a couple of months and then the other thing I did um, I went out and got the Benefit Hula Bronzer I am not a big lover of bronzers I find them really difficult to try and find and wear because I am so pale and so many people are like Hula Bronzer it's amazing for like fair skin and blah 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 so I was like okay I will get the Hula Bronzer so I caved and I went and got it and I have to say I'm impressed I'm very impressed I kind of thought is it worth the money for like a bronzer really do I really need another bronzer because I have my body shot one that I love and I also have a bourgeois one as well and because I don't really wear bronzers that often I couldn't decide if it was really worth the money whether I'd get the use out of it but I've been using it all the time because it's just so easy to blend and it's such a nice like not orange toned not too muddy and it blends out really nicely and the final thing I have I've had for a very long time and it's just one of those things where you sort of pick out randomly you go oh that lipstick looks nice I'll try that one on today and then it becomes your favourite for the next couple of weeks and that's what happened with this and this is the L'Oreal Caress Dating Coral Lipstick and it's really nice coral pink it goes on quite sheer not too like opaque but I really love it as a day lipstick it's amazing and because they're quite conditioning as well like the L'Oreal Caress lipsticks are quite conditioning they're perfect because I have really dry lips so this has been living in my handbag for the last couple of weeks maybe maybe two weeks um but I love it I love it as a day lipstick and yeah I just I think this one was the one that I saw it in the shop and like swatched it and was like that's the best coral colour I've ever seen in my life and then I couldn't afford it and I had to walk away and it was the hardest thing I've ever done but I did eventually go back for it and I'm very glad I did because it's very very nice and I forgot about it a little bit because it sort of disappears in my collection but I have really been loving this and I need to swallow <clears throat> and that is it for my monthly favourites I feel like I've gone quite quickly I feel like I've just been like blah, 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 blah. but hopefully I haven't hopefully you've understood what I've said but that is all for now. Hopefully I will have done a couple more videos by the end of today and my filming schedule will be back to normal. Also if you haven't checked out my blog please go over and check out my blog because I work very hard on it and I love taking photographs for my blog so if you are a blog reader or blog lover you can go to the link below in the description and you can check that out and remember to subscribe to this channel and if you like the look of my blog remember to subscribe via blog loving or google friend connect is that what it's called i keep forgetting remember to thumbs up and i will see you next week for another video goodbye let's get those ice coffee face oh, <laughs>